Good evening. Welcome back to part two of our tutorial. And as you saw, as you saw on the first time um, tutorial, we created our uh, char character here, which doesn't look like a Max Payne or Nico Bellic, but it's all right. So basically, what I'm gonna teach you now is basically adding bones to this and um, making it move. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go back into edit mode. Actually, we go into object mode. Once we've done that, we can click right here. And now we can go to add uh, amateur single bone. Now, as you can see, you cannot see the bone. So what we're going to do now, we click this x-ray button here. And you can now see your bone through your body. And as you can see from the side view, you can see your bone is inside the body. And you have to make sure that you put it in there. So what we're going to do now, press tab to go into edit mode. So you can edit the settings of this. Bring this up to about here. So you have the body, and now E to extrude so we can do the face. Now this is done. Put your mouse here so we can add another body. Remember, basically, we're going to be doing this, then making the mesh the appearance of the bones so we can move it up and down, etc., etc. So once you've placed your mouse here, you can press Shift D. Oh. Sorry about that. Shift D to duplicate. And we actually don't need that because we can actually just do add. Oh, we're going to object mode. Add right here. Add amateur single bone. And what we're actually gonna do, we're actually gonna put the small the thin ends to the bottom. So we press G and we bring it to about here. And the x-ray is going out. Once that's done, select this. Shift D to duplicate. And on the x-axis, press X. You bring it here. Once that's done, we just check on the side, make sure that it's in. And we can see it's in and you can press one to go back into your front view. Come to your leg, press here, and actually, before we do anything, go back into object mode and select your mesh, and do uh, edit mode. And where you have your knee, we're actually going to create an upper body part and a lower upper leg and a lower leg, so you can put your mouse icon here so you know where to cut it. Once that's done, press tab. And uh, add another bone. So we can go add amateur single bone. And as you can see, the x-ray has gone out. So which is here. So we can just grab it, bring it to about here. Press tab to go into edit mode. Press G to grab this part and bring it to around here where your knees are, where you have your lines. And then E to extrude. And you bring it to here. Once that's done, press on to go back into your front view. Select this and this. Shift D to duplicate. And on the X axis, just bring it to here. Now this is done. What we're actually going to do now, we're going to actually make this the parent of the make the mesh the parent of the body so when we move this the everything moves basically so deselect everything go into object mode a deselect everything click your body which is your character basically and you hold shift click your bones make sure all of them are selected and now you can actually press Control P 
and you can set parents to with aut automatic weights. And once that's done, we actually have to do this. Actually, maybe not. And now if you can see, if you click this icon here, and you go to pause mode, you can see if you grab this, if you go to pause mode, you grab this one, actually let's do, actually one thing I forgot to tell you is, um, to be able to edit all, you can highlight all of them and press Control J. Yeah, just so you remember that. So, example, if you go to pause mode and you select this one here, press grab G, and you can actually move it out. But you see, we don't want to move that, so we can do grab, and if you rotate, you can see that your arm is actually moving up and down. And if you grab uh, this one here, G, rotate, oh, wrong one. Grab, oh, wrong one. Go back into here. So what we're gonna do now, we actually forgot to do something. So we can click this icon here, this one here, this one here, this one here, and this one here. And if you press, um, because we all we're gonna have to do. If you see your objects, if you go into edit mode, go into edit mode, press Ctrl P, and you click this of, of offset. And once that's done, you can exit. And now, if you can see, you click this, grab. Rotate, click this, grab, oh, we don't need to do that, you can grab this one, rotate, control P, automatic weights, yeah, that's what you have to do, I forgot to do it, select your whole body, then you select the bones, like this, first you select your whole body, and then you hold shift, select your bones, and then control P, and you do with automatic weights. Once that's done, you can see that if you select this one, you grab, ooh, don't wanna do that, just grab, I'm in the, oh, yeah, so, say so grab this one, Rotate, rotate, grab the head, G, rotate, oh, it's looking, 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 looking. Once that's done, you can go back into your face, go to the texture paint, and if you can see, what we're gonna actually do now, get off the texture paint, So we go into uh, edit mode, and I will actually show you a trick now. If you go to this icon here, and you click it, and you go to Cycles Render, you'll have this um, kind of animation tool here. Uh, what we're gonna, what we want to do. is uh, if you select your object and bring it down, bring it back to say, oh, select everything, you can actually go to object mode, select everything, control J, Actually, there's no mystery during this, so we can just 
select everything and bring it to about here <clears throat> and I will actually show you something now if you go to pause mode and you select this icon here you can see if you press R you can rotate it so what I'm gonna do now if you just come this section here and just press record bring it a bit you'll, uh, you'll actually have a keyframe there so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab this rotate to here move this more rotate more move this more you can grab this one rotate rotate here and we can actually move it a bit more rotate more move it a bit more rotate more and we can actually now move it more grab this one here rotate like this like it's falling and bring it more grab this section here and if you rotate like this then bring it more you can grab this one grab it rotate like this and then grab this one here actually you can grab the head rotate so it says looking this way and grab it more rotate grab this one rotate grab this one bring it to actually we can leave it there and once that's done you can actually click this you can see you have kind of like an animation and if you press stop and you click the play button which is here I think you can see that we have like a simple animation and I'll go back into the objects mode edit mode actually and if you bring it back to here and now we have our final class thank you very much for viewing and we shall see you soon thank you very much youtube.com slash blender classes